Hi everyone, I am Vasit from Corporate Blogging Tips and today I will be talking about Bright Data. How can you create a residential proxy zone network in Bright Data and then how can you use those Bright Data residential proxies in your Chrome browser. And further, I will talk about how you can set the residential proxy in your favorite web scraping tool. But before anything else, let me tell you that Bright Data has the largest inventory of 72 billion residential proxies and delivers the best quality of mobile proxies. So let's check what all Bright Data has to offer. So first one is Proxy Network. Bright Data Proxy Network comprises of Data Center Proxies, ISP Proxies, Residential Proxies and Mobile Proxies. For data specialists who need a no-code infrastructure for data collection and logging, Bright Data has Web Unlocker, Search Engine Crawler and Data Collector. In this Bright Data review, I will also show you how to create and use Bright Data Residential Proxies but before we go ahead, I would like to mention that I have given my referral link in the description of this video. So you can show your support to my channel by using my referral link if you're going to buy any sort of proxy on Bright Data. It won't cost you anything extra, but this will help me fund my channel and keep doing good stuff. So let's start it. Talking about the products, Bright Data has residential proxies, which is the most advanced rotating residential proxy service. You get a network of 72 million plus IP addresses around the world, 99.99% .99 of network uptime, extensive interface and the response time, along with 100% compliant and patented technology with limitless rotation. Next up, there are ISP proxies, which is own real IPs in multiple countries. You get a network of over 600k IPs around the world, 100% network uptime, the fastest response time and along with country and city targeting and there are multiple IP types in this network zone. Next is data center proxies which is a kind of multiple IP types across the world in a shared IP pool for individual purchase. There is a network of 700k IPs around the world. You get 100% network uptime. There is an extensive interface with IPs across 3000 subnets with city and country targeting along with multiple IP types. Next up and most important mobile proxies. There's a network of over 7 million IPs where you get 99.99% .99 network uptime, the fastest response time which is 100% compliant and patented technology and you can target based on ASN and carrier. So guys now let's get straight to the sign up process. To create a Bright Data account, keep following things with you upfront. First is your card details. <coughs> Since it is a pay as you go platform, it will be needed to authenticate your card to be able to pay for the services. And your identity proof that you will send to your sales manager to complete the KYC process. So let's get started. Go to the Bright Data website with my link given in the video's description and click on the sign up button on the top right corner. Fill up the sign up form with your details and click on create account. Make sure you use your work email because I signed up using my gmail account and it didn't work. In the next screen, it will prompt you to create a strong password, type your password and then click on create account. Now is the time to add your card to Bright Data account. It is a pay as you go service so do not worry and put your details there. It will charge you $1 for authenticating your card details. As a reward, I got $5 in my Bright Data account when I authorized my card details with them. And next up, you can add more balance to your account. At this stage, you have signed up on the platform and your card details are authorized. However, you still cannot access the residential proxy network because there is a KYC process. In this process, you need to schedule a call with your account manager at Bright Data and let them know your use case. After you complete the call, it may take around 12 to 24 hours for the compliance team to check your application and approve it. Till your account is approved, you will see pending approval status in your account, which looks like this. And once your account is totally approved, the box will be gone from your dashboard. So when you are approved and your account has funds, you can get started and create your first proxy zone. If you don't know which type of proxy you will need. Simply type the target website that you want to browse or scrape and the smart algorithms behind Bright Data will recommend you the best type of proxy. 
so you can type in the search box and it will just highlight the type of proxy that is recommended for that particular website. I will choose residential from network types. There are other types also that you can choose from based on your requirements. When you choose residential, it gives you some options and fields to configure the network zone. Type any name of the zone. Price plan is already selected. Exclusive IP type. Here you can choose the network sharing type. If you're okay with shared IP address, which is already selected, move to the next option. Permissions. Now here you need to choose wisely. If you only need to use and rotate the residential proxy in a specific country, do not add more permissions. If you want to choose a specific state or city uh, for your proxy zone, choose accordingly. But remember adding anything to permissions will increase your cost. So keep monitoring the monthly cost on the right column in your screen. Last but not the least, you can type a specific port or range of ports. This is helpful when you want to um, a zone to have any specific port on its allow list other than HTTP and HTTPS. Once you are ready, click on add zone. Next up, you will see a prompt like uh, you are about to create a new zone. Confirm and click yes. Awesome. At this time, you have created your residential proxy zone. You can see it here on my screen. By default, a new zone won't have any usage limit defined. However, if you do not want to step into a situation where you unknowingly use it more than your pocket permits, set a limit with this pencil icon. Here you can set usage limits based on your budget and click on save. So I have now successfully created a residential IP zone. There are several ways to use residential proxies. Few of them are using browser extension, setting up proxy in your Wi-Fi network configuration, integrating or rotating proxy IP using Python script, and adding your zone credentials in your scraping software like Octopars or Phantom Buster. To test the IP by using the free browser extension, click on edit with this pencil icon. Find your username and password here, copy it somewhere, add the Brightit extension in your Chrome browser, click on add extension and you will find it right here. Then click on sign in using zone password and paste your details there and click on sign in. Once you sign in, you can see that the proxy is currently off and you can choose your zone and country and choose any country from here and proxy will get on automatically. Now you can see this proxy is activated and here is your IP address. Next up, let's talk about the pricing structure of Bright Data. Bright Data has two pricing models to choose from. The first one is pay as you go. It is the best suitable for you if you do not want to spend more than $300 or $500 a month. And sometimes you won't even be using it at all. Though the per GB cost will be much higher in this plan, but you will be away from the monthly commitment. In this cost model, data center proxy is 0.90 US dollar per IP and 0.12 US dollar per GB usage. Residential IP is 25 US dollars per GB and you get unlimited rotation and are charged only based on the data used. ISP proxies are 29 US dollars per GB plus 0.50 US dollar per IP. Mobile proxies are 60 US dollars per GB. The second pricing structure is monthly or yearly subscription. This subscription model is the best suited for you if you want to commit a budget for each month or each year. Choosing this plan will result in a lower cost per GB as you spend more and more. In this cost model, residential proxies are 15 US dollars per GB in the experimenting plan, which is 300 USD per month. So basically you will get 20 GB of bandwidth in this plan for residential proxy usage. When you choose a higher plan, the cost reduces. In the starter plan, which is $500 per month, the price per GB comes down to $12.5. As a result, you get 50 GB of bandwidth in this plan. As the plan gets bigger, the cost per GB comes down. This way, the cost can come down to $3 per GB for the residential proxy network. Bright Data also has a great reputation on the internet. You can see on their Trustpilot page, they have 4.8 star reviews and there are over 400 reviews. And out of them, almost 87% of them are excellent 
and 8% of them are poor or bad. I've also written a detailed review of Bright Data on my blog and I have given the link to it in the description of this video so you can go and check out my detailed review on my website. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like my Bright Data review. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Till then, feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and hit the bell icon to get future notifications. In the upcoming video, I'll also do a video on how to use residential proxies in various ways. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye.